No idea is as absurd as the idea of progress, which together with its corollary notion of the superiority of modern civilization has created its own positive alibis by falsifying history, by insinuating harmful myths in people's minds, and by proclaiming its sovereign at the crossroads of the plebeian ideology from which it originated. These words belong to the Italian philosopher and metaphysician Julius Evola. Throughout his work, as well as that of all traditionalist thinkers, the rejection of the concept of progress is a recurring theme. Progress is a uniquely Western idea, which developed under the influence of Christianity, became secularized during the Age of the Enlightenment, and has been preached by liberals, capitalists and socialists alike. Technological innovation, liberty and equality, capitalism or socialism, it goes, will bring about a bright new age for humanity, in which all our struggles will be put to rest and our desires satisfied. It's easy to fall for such utopian visions if we study history only from the perspective of an economist or demographer, but progressivists fail to point out the various symptoms of degeneration displayed by modern man. Despite our historically unprecedented living standards, there is more social alienation, greed, deprivation, self-destructive behavior now than at any known age of the past. Humans have never been as careless of their treatment of nature, wars have never been more destructive and devoid of honor. Even the machines which we have created to serve us have ended up becoming our masters. Man has made the material realm his only home and has shut himself off from any higher transcendental reality. The result has been a savage, untamable consumerism combined with a dreadful fear of death and the unknown. Thus, it is the opinion of thinkers such as Genon and Evola that the world is fast approaching not an ethical and technological utopia, but the final, most chaotic stage of the Kali Yuga, the dark age of Hindu scripture.